Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, LoRa IoT space-based gateways. So the idea is essentially to use a satellite this size, 15 centimetres, 5 centimetres and 5 centimetres. It's about the size of a bottle of beer. Um, and this would be essentially in space and it would pick up your IoT devices. Now, today I'm going to talk about who Alba Orbital is. Um, we're based in Glasgow. Um, going to convince you that space-based IoT networks and gateways are the future. Um, tell you what and what on earth I'm talking about, and uh, really talk about what space-based IoT gateways are going to do and what you can do with them. So, uh, Bat Alba Orbital um, was founded by my friend Tom. Uh, we've got our first launch on Falcon 9 next year, which is really exciting. We're going to be launching three satellites and one rocket and one go. Um, now, we aim to democratise space, which is a kind of buzzword for kind of lowering bar barriers to entry by making satellites so much cheaper. So one of these, well, the smaller one is the lowest priced commercial space platform, and it's also the smallest. So it really allows entrepreneurs and small businesses to make use of space far more than they could before with other space platforms. Uh, we've got 11 staff, we're growing all the time, so very fast-paced uh, place to be. Um, we've developed our platforms in cooperation with ESA, uh, as well as a few other space agencies. So we've been cooperating with the Taiwanese Space Agency, uh, British Space Agency, um, as well as NASA Ames. And our first missions, which will be going up next year, are mainly to do with in-orbit demonstration, but we've got all sorts of different payloads. So I oh, didn't mention that. Payload is the stuff that you put in the satellite. So space-based IoT is one of the potential payloads that we're looking at. So, the Unicorn 1, a, which I've already mentioned, is a 2P satellite, which is 10 centimetres high, 5 by 5, and uh, this kind of sexy picture that we've got of it in space. Um, it's going to be the first uh, LoRa inter-satellite uh, link. So we've got a, a Semtech module in there, and we've got an S-band patch, as well as a turnstile antenna, which is a UHF. Um, it's got the same uh, power as Sputnik, so it's only got a uh, one watt power budget, and uh, it's super cheap. So if you want one, uh, talk to me and get you one for 200k. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, because of it being like Sputnik, we've got a cool poster of it there. A uh, bigger one, Unicorn 2, which I've got in my hand, is uh, 15 centimetres. It's got like a 17 watt peak. Um, this is the one that we've been looking at for space-based IoT as a gateway for Earth communications. Um, whereas with this, it's more of a kind of uh, IoT within space. So it's one of the sending the, the, um, the signals to larger gateways, whereas that's a gateway. Um, and that's got like active pointing, that's got all this kind of stuff that you need in order to create these uh, gateways within space. Um, it's another cool picture. I, I love all these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we make Pico satellites which are 100 to 1 kilogram. Uh, now, the future of this is there's a kind of two strains within space. There's one side to make things much larger and there's the other to make things much smaller. Um, now within space, uh, there's, there's a lot of chat now about IoT within space. So there's a thing called chip, chip sats, which are essentially 10 to about 25 gram satellites. That is essentially a PCB board. Now, there's a lot of companies looking at LoRa networks within space. For space-based IoT, to essentially have the gateway as a relay to ground. So these are satellites that will have a limited lifespan, maybe a year, use LoRa and the low, communicate, the low power budgets 
that Laura offers to uh, communicate with the ground. Uh, and then the other, of course, which is the In Space for Earth, which allows communication with remote regions of Earth and maybe hostile areas. So there's a huge amount of people working within both for space. There's companies like Audacity um, who are using medium Earth orbits, which is the same kind of orbit that GPS is in for uh, communication to satellites. Um, and then there's the people that are offering the, the ground stations to Earth. Um, or is it there's, there's massive potential? Uh, so it breaks down the di digital divide. Uh, that used to be a, something that a lot of people talked about, now kind of went away for some reason. Um, but it's still a massive problem. I mean, how do you communicate with other people if you're in a remote region of Earth? Space can solve that problem, potentially. Um, now, this is just a small kind of snapshot of what you can do with space-based networks. Um, there's a huge potential to communicate with things that you potentially could not have before. Uh, this list is no means definitive. Uh, hopefully I've given you a kind of snapshot into what IoT and space is and hopefully you've got some questions for me. Perfect. Round of applause.